Meantime tonight, Rumble 9, Chalmette 3, Jared Paul Joseph was at Suarez Stadium. He's got more. Romo enters Noel Suarez Stadium on a four game win streak, including a combined 39 runs in their last two victories. But Friday night against Chalmette, the Raider bats need extra time to find the Owls pitches. In fact, Romo takes its first lead of the game courtesy of a Chalmette error, where the Owls try to pick off a runner at first and the runner at third ends up stealing home. However, it is not until the seventh inning that the Raiders offense finds its groove. Twice while the bases are loaded, Romo capitalizes score Scoring six runs, including Lenny Klein hitting a grand slam to seal the Raiders' win. What did you see on the home run? I just looked up. I saw the center fielder. He just turned his head up. I was like, oh, that's gone. And, uh, what about on the swing? <laughs> on the swing, I was just looking for a pitch down the middle, and he gave it to me right there. So got my happy pitch and put it out the park. When was the last time that you, you hit a grand slam? Oh, my freshman year. is my first varsity at bat, actually, in Texas, and uh, went long ball on a 3-2 count. Okay. Remember it like it was yesterday. I just told him keep swinging the bat. You know, swing the bat, and guess what? You can't hit it if you don't swing it. And, and he's a very good hitter for us, and he's got tremendous power. You know, and Lenny did a great job tonight also. We need this win. You know, we need to win and stay in the hunt of things. And, and as far as power rankings are concerned, and, and I'm very proud of our guys. Romo now wants to use its Friday night victory as the team's John Curtis moment of the season. Remember, last year's Division I Select State runner-ups beat the Patriots on a walk-off, sparking their postseason run. Now, in 2024, the Raiders hope to do the same with their victory against Chalmette. Reporting in Chalmette for your Friday night fastball, guys, back to you.